Welcome to Zen Geometry. This is a channel dedicated to creating visually appealing art through the power of mathematics. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to my favorite math curve, the Rose Curve. With the Desmos link I prepared, you can create your own design easily. What I love most about the Rose Curve is just how versatile it is. By simply adjusting the end value, you can create a whole range of different shapes. Each one beautifully symmetric, elegant, and harmonious in its own unique way. Plus, by adding an extra parameter, you can create even more variations. If you're enjoying what you're seeing so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps the video reach more people and share the joy of math. But that's not all about Rose Curve. Maurer Rose, which is based on the Rose Curve, is another math graph that I absolutely love. You can find Maurer Rose animation videos on my channel. I will put one of them on the end screen. For this video, we'll be focusing specifically on the Rose Curve itself. While the Rose Curve is stunning on its own, we can take it a step further and add an artistic touch to it. Here's how. Start by drawing a rose curve with your desired parameters. Let's call it rose curve 1. Next, draw the same curve but with a slightly smaller size and rotate it by a small angle. This is rose curve 2. Finally, connect the points on the two curves with straight lines. While I was creating this, I accidentally stumbled upon another way to rotate the rose curve. Watch this. Did you catch anything happening? Probably not. That's because it wasn't moving. Let me switch it to dots. You can now see how it rotates. Let's call this rose curve 3. This accidental discovery leads to a very interesting animation. Stay tuned. I will be sharing with you in another video. Now, with these three curves, we can create all sorts of patterns by adjusting the size difference and rotating angle, along with selecting different parameters for the rose curves. The possibilities are truly endless. Now, Let's check out the Desmos link I used to create these animations. If you want to create your own design, make sure to subscribe because I'll be sharing more links like this in the future. I've added detailed notes to the link, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer every single one of them. Don't be afraid to experiment with the sliders and variables. If you mess up, you can always undo or refresh the page to start over.
And if you come up with a design you're proud of, don't hesitate to share your link in the comments. I hope you will have fun with it, and enjoy the beauty of math as much as I do. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more math art.